By his skills, I'm strong and I can go up and down and I can do everything because if I look back, I can see uh, if I compare myself with uh, some of my colleagues. In fact, uh, it's, it's very sad, you know, and for me to be like this, you know, I know my God is taking good care of me. You talk about the stats. I want to start in Edmonton for the Commonwealth Games mm. where you won a gold medal. Oh, yeah. Was that the point where you felt I could go on to become the best in the world? No. no. From, from the scratch, you know, I know I'm going to be the best of the world. You were cocky of a confident young man then? Yes. yes. I'm very confident, you know, because uh, I love, when I started, I love it, you know, and I know that uh, I'll go to the top. And when you won at Edmonton, mm. What was the next step in your mind as that Commonwealth Games when you came back home? When I came back home, I mean, I'm waiting for the uh, Olympic Games. You know, in, in Ghana, nobody has become a gold medalist in the Olympic Games. You know, and I want to set that record. You know. So um, we're getting ready. We are preparing for the Oly Olympic Games. And something happens, like... Uh, South Africa, I think because of South Africa, they boycott the Olympic Games, and then I can we can't go to the Olympic Games again. So I have to uh, sit down for four years, wow. you know, to wait for the Olympic Games to go. But I cannot wait for four years you know, because you know time is not in my side, you know, because uh, boxing you cannot be old, you know, you have to. I have to make it fast and quick, you know, so I just decided to turn professional. And for somebody who went on to become one of the greatest, your early days as a professional was very quiet. Nobody knew who Azuma Nelson was. We were fighting Billy Kwame in Accra. Did you feel at that point that things were not going according to the plan that you have set? Oh, things were going according to the plan because uh, you know, uh, let me say, when I, before I fought Billy Kwame, I, before I was, when I was amateur, uh, I saw somebody fighting. He's, he's a featherweight champion, and he's fighting, and I was sitting down with uh, one of my, some of my people, and we are watching it on the telly, and I, I told my friend, so this guy, one day I'll beat him. And one of my uncles passing and he heard about that and he was annoyed. And he started, started insulting me. I'm being too low. Uh, for when did I start boxing? You know, and how can I beat this? And one of the guys is a tailor. So he's sewing and we're sitting down uh, conversing. And when my uncle passed, passed by, you know, he said, I shouldn't mind, you know. And I said, oh, don't mind me. Listen, you, you are my uncle, and I am fighting, and I'm learning how to box. And if a boxer, if I see a boxer, and I say, I'll beat the boxer, you have to encourage me. And, you know, if you, if you think you can beat me, if you want to beat him, you train hard and look. But you're talking like 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 a child, you know. So I, I, I told my, my, my friend that, that you shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry. One day when I meet this guy, you see, and a couple of years later, and I fought like three fights, and and I became the national champion, you know. Uh, and the national champion, I saw him fighting, and I, I told my friend I'll beat him, you know. And my uncle, my uncle said, uh, he came and started talking foolish, <laughs> you know. And and I told my friend, don't worry, I'll meet him one day. When I meet this guy, I'll beat him and my uncle. So when I beat the guy. That time my uncle was in the stadium. He jumped into the ring and he carries me. You know. And but because it's my uncle, I can't I can't tell him that do you remember I told you I'll beat this guy one day? <laughs> <laughs> it, it must have been quite the moment for you. But from that point mm. until you got the invitation to fight Salvador Sanchez. Mm. How did that message come to you that you had an opportunity 
so early in your professional career to fight one of the greatest boxing champions in your division? You know, it's funny. Uh, I was in the house when uh, my manager came to me and he said, Champ, we have, uh, we've got the water to fight. Can you fight? And I said, yes. Then I said, when? And he said, two weeks. <laughs> and and, and, and I, I smiled. I said, okay. I said, yes, I'll fight. I so you took fight. that fight on two weeks' notice? Yes. I, I, I said, yes, I'll fight. But that was dangerous. Uh, yes. But, but because, I, you see, I love the boxing so much, and I and, and the luck is that my 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 coach, my 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 coach was a very good coach. So coming to you know talk about defense, you know boxing is about act, you know, and I believe that I know the art so much, and I'm a young guy and I'm strong, and I believe that nobody can nobody can can beat me. You know. So I took the fight, you know, and then we went to America. Was it the first time you had traveled to America? No, no. I've been to uh, Los, uh, New York uh, a couple of times. Uh, we, we went for, for a World Cup championship in America, a Madison Square Garden. You know, kind of, you know, so I, I know, I know, I know, I'm, I know my way around America. <laughs> <more>. <laughs> Let's talk about that fight. You, you put up a good fight. Yes. But you lost. I lost. Yes. Talk to me about the mouth guard. Yes, you know, when we got to America, mm -hmm. uh, they give me a spam partner. You know, and so after I spam with the guy, the guy went and told, I don't know who he told, but uh, Duncan went to uh, my, the one who brought me to America. Uh, it's, it's, what was the name? Uh, Mickey Dove. You know, it's, it's a British, you know, and Duncan asked me, why do you bring, bring somebody like this? Duncan was promoting yes. Salvador Sanchez at the time. Yes. Yeah. And he, he, say, he asked the guy, why do you bring somebody like me? Yeah. Yeah. The guy is so strong. And, and the, the make it off told him, you shouldn't worry. He know what he will do. You know. And that was your, the person who had brought you to America? Yes. Boxing, you know, games, you know, sports, you know, most of the sports are mafia games, you know. So, uh, the day for the fight, I couldn't fight my mouthpiece. So, we went to the amateur store and bought one, and uh, I put it in the hot water and I put it in my mouth, you know, and it's big, little bigger. So, I took a blade and cut it, you know, so the mouth will become, became as, uh, rough, you know. So, uh when when the time came we went to the rink and then we start fighting but this one the six one he gave me he he he, I, he he threw some left to, to my jaw and it cut my mouth in, it's inside you know so the blood was coming and six seven i was tired you know i was tired so uh but i'm just fighting you know I just want to finish, and that time to go 15 rounds. Mm. You know, so I was tired in the last round, 15 rounds. I mean, my my legs cannot carry me again. You know, I even I stand alone. If I stand alone, I can see my my legs are wumbling. You know, when I say Kai, the man is the man is weak. <laughs> you know, so uh, I, I went down and I. And then I wake up and the referee count and to continue. The referee came in and stopped the fight. And he realized that no, I'm too tired. You know. So you, you accepted that day that you lost to a better man or you lost because the mouth guard cost you? No, not even the mouth guard, but the, the, the time for the training. You know, if you short. had been better prepared, you'd have beat Sabados and I'll that beat day. him, I'll knock him out. You are that confident you're going to beat him? Yes. You, you mentioned Don King. Over the course of your career, did he become a part of your life? Yes. After that fight, he, 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 he realized that, you know, this guy is a champion, you know. So uh, he signed a contract. So you were promoted by Don King for a while? Yes. Yes. Most of the fight, most of all my fights, you know. Is he a good person? A lot of people don't say nice things about him. Well, 
he's a good person, he's a businessman. You know, his boxing is like backing, you know. I remember when uh, he said uh, there was a fight, he, should, uh, he said he's, go he's going to pay me this much. Mm -hmm. mm. And I said, no, it's too small, I'm going back to Ghana. I was in America then. Okay. I said, no, I'm going back to Ghana. You know. So he's just talking to me on the phone. We are talking on the phone. I said, no. And then uh, I was annoyed. I, and then I left the phone. So I was inside parking. And he, he called me. And then I, I picked the phone. And I said, yes, Duncan, this is your African slave. Talk to me. You know? You said that to him? Yes. Uh, and he said, what? I said, yes. The, all, that, all I had is, the phone was off. Uh, he put the phone down. By five minutes, he was in my, he was in my, he was in the camp. You know? And he came and called me. He said, champ, you're my champion. You know, you're, you're, you're my son. You know, I love you. You know, and I mean, well, I mean uh, if you don't want the money, you let me know. I'll give you how much you want. You know, <laughs> and I said, well, you know what, you, you know what you're supposed to give me. So if you're telling me you're giving me this, it's like, you know, but because I don't have anybody. So no, 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 no. You're my son. I'll give you anything you want. You know, <laughs> and then, and then he, 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 he respected me that that day. You know, because I have a managers. Yeah. You know, and my managers have to uh, deal with him about the money. You know, but. I, I don't know what they're talking to Duncan about, you know. So, um, whenever Duncan says something, you say, okay. I say, no, I don't take this money, you know. So, since then, we start dealing very well. Oh, okay. You know? Now, post Salvador Sanchez, you lost the fight, yeah. but there are those who also say you won in other ways because the whole world realized that this young man had potential. Yeah, you, you see, if I finish the fight, it doesn't matter how bad I beat him, you know, they won't give me the, the distance, unless I knock him out. You think they, they would have robbed you yes, if you had not knock him out? if I don't knock him out, they have robbed me, so they have robbed Because this is, you know, he's a champion, and he's a, he's a great champion, and he said, when you are when you a champion and you hold the title for a while, and you've been defending, then the money is going up gradually, you know, so nobody... Duncan don't want anybody to, dis to, to uh, destroy, uh, destroy his, his, his career or, I mean, Duncan has invested more in him, so you have to be, you know, guide him very well. So, uh, when, 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 I, I, when I'm fighting, I wanted to fight, so knock him out, you know, because if I can't knock him out, I can't win. You know, so, and that's why the pressure that I'm, I was so tired that I cannot, uh, go any further, and the referee stopped the fight. But when the referee stopped the fight, I'm okay. You know, in the 15 rounds, some few minutes or you know, to finish the, the the 15 rounds. You know, so I said, don't worry, I'll be back. You know, and, uh, and you were back yes. um, a year or so later in the ring. Two years, with, two yes. years later with Wilfredo. Yes, yes Wilfredo, because they are supposed to fight the champion, but they don't want to fight me anymore. But when they what they what they they start running away because of what they saw, you know. You know so nobody want to take a chance. At that time, your reputation uh -huh. was so big. Yeah. Nobody no. wanted a piece of no. you. No. No. So no. why did Gomez accept to fight you? Gomez didn't accept the fight. Uh, I was supposed to fight Gomez before, mm -hmm. but he just ran away until we got to the mandatory defense because I'm the number one. You know, so you can hold the title and play with it for maybe one year or one and a half years. Yes. Then after that, you have to defend the title for the number one. You know, so by force you have to fight. If you don't fight, they will take the title from him. So you have to fight. So they made uh, all kind of ways to take the title. You know, so uh, we beat for the be for the money and they won. So. We, we, we go to Puerto Rico, his hometown, you know, because he knows that he's going to get the supporters, you know, he's going to get the people behind him, you know. So 
I know. So when I was training, I was in Ohio training. I told him the press comes and asks him uh, how the fire tell tell Gomez that he should train hard because I'm coming I'm coming to take the title. But it's strange, champ, that for a very quiet person, you were a trash talker as a boxer. You, you like yeah. trash talking a lot. No, boxing is, is that's the that's the game. You know, that's the game. You have to say something for somebody to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes you didn't mean it, but you just wanted to say something. No, some no. What, what what do you mean? But I didn't mean it. I I, I say I said I told the press to tell uh, 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 Ufedo Gomez that I should train hard. I'm coming to take the title. I mean it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so uh, whether he train hard or he didn't train hard, I mean I've told you train hard. I'm coming to take the title. If you don't want me to take the title, you have to train hard and do whatever you have to do, you know. And I went there, you know because I told them I'm coming. When I got there in the hotel, they sent some women to me, some beautiful two uh, Puerto Rican girls. They came to my, do my door. That is, that they knocked the door. The security came out and asked them what they, what they did looking for. They said, I, I called them. I, I, I said they should come. The, the security came inside and asked me whether I said to some two girls should come. I said, no, no, I haven't even seen anybody. <laughs> then, the, then the security went back and told them that, no, uh, Azuma didn't want to see you, you know. And they said, no, so they just stand there exchanging words with the security, security and then they called the uh, hotel security guys and came and sacked them away, threw them away, you know. So then... In the in when well, when the time comes in the pre, uh, uh, dressing room, they put an air condition inside, you know, because we before you enter to the ring you have to be uh, warmed, you know, and when you are warming and the, the air condition is so high that you you, you you can't warm up, so we start talking to them. My manager went there and is talking to them that they should come and put this thing off. Like, and you don't you don't even see where you can put it as uh, uh, off. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and then it became it became fight. Mm. And they they cut my manager with knife. You know, you see the blood and everything and also don't worry. Wow. You know, it's it's terrible. This was more than the fight in the uh, ring. Yeah, I'm telling you, you know. They just do all kind of things, to, you know. Uh, just for us to I mean, lose hope and uh, but we enter into the ring, and then we start fighting. And you were losing? No. Until the 11th round? No, I'm not losing. If, if, I, if I finish the fight, I'll lose, in a way. If, if I finish the fight, I'll lose. So I know I'm going to knock him out, you know. Whether one round or 12 rounds, I'll knock him out, you know. If I don't knock him out and we finish the rounds, I have to go back. I, I, don't, I don't wait. For the referee to, to to give the decision because you know you've lost yeah, i've lost you know so what changed in that round when we start the fight from the first round i just put in pressure on him you know he's throwing the punches i'm coming i'm blocking and hitting me some of the punches punches and i'm coming you know and i'm hitting him I'm, so he was tired i can see the legs was start wumbling i say yes you go the 10 rounds or the 11 rounds that my camera few is the minister for sports he, you know he was there and then he came to me in the corner and he said chilog bishi do you understand chilog bishi push him <laughs> yeah, push him down <laughs> 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 you know so uh, he went he turned himself to to his seat before he he heard he heard the the noise you know I push him down. <laughs> <laughs> so you were listening to the sports minister instead of fighting. <laughs> no, no, I knock him out. Oh, okay. So no, he thought you had I, pushed him. No, he came to me. He said, "It means when he's telling me to uh, push him down, it means I should knock, knock him, him out." out. Okay. You know? and, uh, yeah. So uh, before he was going to sit, uh, before he realized, he heard the sound okay. and he turned. Then when he turned, he realized. Uh, Gomez uh, is is on the floor, you know, it's on the canvas, and they run, they run and 
uh, enter the, the, the ring, you know, and, and came and carry me. <laughs> you know, and, and, and that is the, uh, that, that's what I'm looking for in my life in boxing. I want to be a world champion, you yeah. know. And when I became the world champion, I said to myself, now I'm, I'm the world champion. Anyone who says he's a, he's, he wants to be a champion should come and take the title. You know? And for you, that was the point. Yes. And when I, because, uh, when, when, you see, I told people, when you are a champion, you have to train like a challenger. You know? So when I became champion, now I train more than before I became champion. So I, become, I became scared. You know? <laughs> if you are, nobody wants to fight me again. Donkey couldn't get a fight for me. Because mm. when they tell you, oh, when there's a fight, when you have a boxer, donkey will come and tell you, oh, okay, my, listen, I have a fight for you. You ready? So, yeah, 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 I'm ready. You know, we, are, we are ready, we are ready. You know? So, who's, who am I fighting? Oh, for Azuma, and I say, so, no, we are not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was afraid of you. <laughs> All right, then. So, we are doing a face-to-face -face special with... Boxing Hall of Famer Azuma Nelson is a face to face special. He's 60 years old this year. We decided to catch up with the great man. When we return, we will relive his life as a world champion. Spend 30 minutes every weekday catching up with all the trending social media conversations of the day. If you tweet it, we'll read it. We might just even Skype you. 30 minutes is all it takes, so use the hashtag. 30 minutes on social media to catch our attention. Join the most interactive social media TV show weekdays at 5 p.m. only on City TV. We spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and policy oriented discussions that will keep you updated on the progress of the nation. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV. Welcome back to Face to Face. And we are still reliving the boxing career of uh, Professor or Berima or Zoom Zoom. Azuma Nelson, whichever nickname you call him by, he will accept it. Now, Champ, you had won the world title, you returned to Ghana, a national hero. And for some strange reason, people took to you, people liked you. You became sort of a representative of the country. Ghanaians lived through you. Did that give you pressure? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't feel pressure. But I just want to continue making them happy you know so it makes me train harder so that you could achieve more yeah and you you, you build but, special relationships with so many people you mentioned amaka and matthew mm. the head of state at the time was also a good friend of yours yeah. he still yeah. is i think <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah chairman yeah. rawlings yeah at the time yeah. what yeah. what did the two of you have that brought you two together yes tell us about that you know um when I was amateur, mm -hmm. uh, he he was uh, he was uh, he was he was taking care of us, mm. you know. And we have to go to we're supposed to go to World Military Games. There's uh, one guy in in, in 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 the military. He's from he's American, and he's beating the the people every time they go to the uh, World Military Games. He, he, he took the gold, you know, and Lawrence realized that I can beat that guy, you know. So he's, he's, he comes to the, he, he's in the, he's in the well, we train at um, Volunteer Force, mm -hmm. and he's there with, you know, he, he comes there every day, you know. Uh, it's, even sometimes when we finish training, he, he, he sweep the place for us. He don't want, yes. He don't want us to, you know, when we want to, they say, no, 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 you people have tired, rest, you know. And he will come and take the uh, this thing and clean, uh, clean all the other room. And then he will go and bring some uh, food, some beans and this thing for us, you know, we eat, 
uh, he, he wants us to, you know, he said, listen, I want you people to rest, you know, I mean, don't worry. You know, so there, you know, he became, you know, my, my, friend. my friend, you know, and before then, he haven't, the, 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 the revolution having took place, you know. So we've been gradually, and uh, we went to the uh, World, Mer World uh, Meritory Games, you know. When we went there, but Chairman didn't go so, you know. We went with some seniors. Did you win? Yes. You won. Ah, Fantastic. Definitely, I have to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's, let's come back to your career after the Salvador Sanchez fight. I want to move the conversation along. You had beaten Pat Caldo. You always wanted to fight Barry McGregor. Yes, the girl. Why? <laughs> he, he was a legendary boxer, just like yeah, yourself. I know. Very, very good boxer. Yeah. Perhaps as dangerous a boxer as yourself. Yes. Why did you want to fight her? Yeah, but because he's a dangerous boxer and I'm a dangerous boxer, we have to meet and see who is who. You kept taunting him every time you were winning. Bring me that girl. That is the name. That's the game. That's the name of the game. You know, you have to talk and then you have to talk. And then the crowd, you know, we like the fight. Okay, let's put the fight together. You but know? it never happened. It never happened because it's, they are afraid. You felt yeah. McGregor's people were afraid. Yes, they know. They, they Did you them. ever communicate with him personally, Barry? No, but I, we met sometimes. You know, <laughs> but he knows that. that I, <laughs> he's a good fighter. He just, you know, he's good at speed. Yeah. You know, and throw more punches. And if you throw more punches like that, you cannot fight me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your style was very my, good for him. My style was excellent for him to knock him out early. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's move the conversation along now. And why did you decide to fight Ben No, I wanted to take the uh, featherweight title. Then I go to super featherweight. Then I go to lightweight. Then I you know, and. So I've 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 beat all the uh, featherweight people, you know. There's no nobody there. Then I move up to the super featherweight, and nobody there, you know. So I'm moving up to uh, fight Whitaker, you know. And and uh, I lost. You know, there's very, a lot of things. He's, yeah, I know. But yeah, he was yeah. an awkward boxer to fight. Yeah, it's I've a, seen the fight several times. Yeah, it's he a, made it very difficult for you. Yes, because I'm not focused. And I'm not focusing. You had other issues. Yes, to issues with. with them. So okay. And then when he beat me, I said, "Okay, you beat me. Okay, I take. I understand. Give me a rematch." You know. And he said, "No, only fools gives me a rematch. He never gave me a rematch." And uh, he left. You know. Let's talk about Buffalo Martin. Mm. When did you first meet Buffalo? Uh, I met Buffalo in America, Duncan's camp, I think. You know, and. Is uh, I I came to love him because uh, what what kind of impact did he have on you as a, a trainer? Uh, he's a trainer, but not that trainer. Mm -hmm. You know, the way I know the boxing, it's difficult for somebody to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'll, if you are my trainer, I'll tell you that I'll tell you what to do. You no, know, we have to do this. We have to do this. You know, when I throw the punch. Do this. I'll do this. You know, I'm, you know, I'll show you, and then uh, what you know, I'll, I'll add more on on, on 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 your on what you know, so you'll be perfect more. You know, but I like him because he's, he's a funny guy. He makes he makes you funny. You know, when you train, when you go to training and you finish training, uh, you bath, you eat something. You know, you 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 need to uh, sometimes watch TV. You know, or uh, have somebody to converse with. You know, and this guy will make you, f will make you laugh. You know, so I said, okay, come, let's go, come with me. You know, and then he, that's how he became my ch my, my coach. And you were together for years. Yes. And uh, after I, he pa he passed away in 1998. Yes, he passed away. I told him, I told him. You see, he has uh, some sickness. Like when he sit down, when he's sitting down here right now, you see him sleeping. You know, he seems sleeping. So, and he went and bought a uh, Mercedes Benz, you know, and, 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 uh, in his uh, country, you know. 
Spain, Spain, Spain. Yeah. 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 and I heard that uh, he had, he had cr crashed with somebody and I know that uh, he was sleeping and he so rest in perfect peace. There are those who say his passing also took something out of you as a boxer because they say you never won another fight when after I Martin passed. Oh, I won, oh, I won a lot of fights. Uh, uh, it's not, uh, it, that didn't take anything, but I, I just feel pain that, oh, you know, my, my, my good friend, you know, uh, I'm not going to see him anymore, you know, uh, all the jokes that is cracking is gone, you know, but I mean, okay. I mean I'm not, I don't put my, 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 my mind on the human being, you know, I've, my life is on God, you know, okay. so if you are not there, God knows the reason why you, you are not there. So it's not a problem. After him, you moved on to another world famous trainer, Gusen, uh, for a while. Let's talk about Gennaro Hernandez. Was that a fight you should have taken? Yes, it's a fight I have to take. I took it, you know. But it's, it's, it's not it's not a it's not any difficult thing. It's, I'm a boxer and a boxer. We can't stop. But the, 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 you see, like I'm saying, the, the mafia things are in the boxing is, is, is not, it's too much, you know, because they want to take the title from a long time, you know, because I'm here and I'm an African, you know, and I hold the title for a long time and they need the title in America to make money with. And I took the title and I'm sitting down with the title here and nobody can take the title from me. You know, you call me, I'll go, I'll beat you, I'll bring back the title, you know. So, you know, I don't know what these people are thinking, you know. So when I want to fight this guy, you know, I have a plan, you know. You know, I have the plan. So when the fight was going on, you know, I got, it got to where I would knock him out, you know. And they said, oh, uh, you, you, you hit him before, uh, 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 you throw your hand when the back, Went, you know. Also, you are a boxer. You have to be ready and careful, and protect yourself at all That's times. Well, but he fell. He went down, you know, and he don't want to wake up. <laughs> you, know, you know, see, he sit down there like 10, 15 minutes. I say, what, what can you know? And because they want to take the title from me, they, you know. So when he finish, uh, when he rest. Totally, and then he wake up, you know. So before I will charge, you know, I will put pressure on him and uh, make him tired again uh, to finish the fight, you know. And they say he won. I thought okay, take the fight, you know. So, but I, I'm not worried if I lose a fight, and I'm not worried if I, you know, if I won because I, all I know is I'm going to the, I'm going to the ring to win, you know. So if I lose, okay, I'm not next time. There were rumors at the time that. You had even challenged a very, very young Floyd Mayweather at the time, who was also in your division at the time. Was that true? Uh, no, I'm not challenging anybody, but I will fight anybody. You know, if you are uh, my division, you know, I mean, when, why not? I mean, that's, that's what I say I'll do. You know, so if I if I said I'm a, I want to be a boxer and I'm a boxer and then bo they come boxer for me to fight and what should I go back, pull back? No, I'm there. If if, if that time if uh, he came, we fight. You know, and we see who who's who. You know. So for you, it was always about proving you were the best person out there. It did not matter who you were fighting. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can you 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 can talk whatever you want to say. Who was human is not a boxer, I would knock him out. I, I fought some guy. I fought some guy. And the guy fought, uh, uh, such, who's the name? Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. The guy fought Julio Cesar Chavez. After he fought him, and he went to the distance. They went to the 12 rounds. And I have to fight the boy. The guy. We, we went to the press. We went to press, con press conference. He's saying a lot of things, you know. Who oh, even Sabas, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez? I fought Julio Cesar Chavez. I beat him. You know they didn't give me the fight. Uh, who's Azuma Nelson? Azuma Nelson is uh, just uh, just talking, you know. 
and they asked me, this is what the guy said, what am I saying? I said, this is not a problem. Right now he's sitting down here, he's taking the fresh air, you know, so he don't, he, he's just saying something, but he shouldn't forget what he's saying right now, that when you enter into the rink, don't forget that, I mean, you know, <laughs> you said you, 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 you have nobody. Mm. So when we got to the rink, and I knocked him out in the tenth round, you know. And after the fight, they said, "You are a champion." You know, that's what I want you to know. Just we agree that I'm the best. <laughs> you know. Now, so, so. career has come to an end. You are relaxed. You decided to venture into training a bit for a, a while. How was that for you? Yeah, I was training the boys. Yes. Yes. You know, I was training the boys. Some of the boys I've been training. And when they, when they, you know, Ghanaians or Africans, I don't know, but I think it, it's in the whole world, it's in, it's in the world. Everybody, in the all, all the world, these things happen, you know. I train them, when I'm training them, then when they, 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 the people see that, oh, this boy is, ah, this boy is good. You know, they have to pass your pack and go and talk to the boy. That, hey, you are a champion. I don't know why are you here? But this time you're supposed to be in America. You know, Azuma Nelson don't want you to be a champion because he was a champion. He don't want you to be a champion. You, know, you waste your time. That's, the, the guy from Kumasi, he haven't been to Togo, and you tell him you take him to America. You know, so oh yes, you know, and then you start giving some him some money, small small money. The guy think oh this is a good man. You know. So then they take him to America. And he start fighting, you know. And then he fought for the title. But when he when he's going to fight for the title, they ask me, they call me and they ask me, uh, your man is fighting for the title. What do you think? He's going to win? I say no, he's not, he's not going to win. Because there's uh, there's some things I haven't finished uh, teaching him, you know. So there's mistakes he will do. You know, and he went there and made the mistakes. And he couldn't, he fought, I think, two times for the title. He couldn't win the title, you know. And another one too fought for the title three times. He couldn't win, you know. And then later they came back, they, they apologized to me. I said, no, it's not me, it's you. It's your life, you know, because if you waited, if you listened to me, you'll be, by this time, you don't even know what to do with the money. It is about money, you know. So I... I'm still training the, some, some of the boys, yes. I, I will come back to that, but when we look at the generation you had, and even those that came after you a bit later, you had um, Cobra Kote coming, Aikote also coming in a bit. After all of you guys left the scene, there was a big gap. We, we, we didn't seem to be able to produce your caliber of boxes again yeah. for a very, very, very long time. Why? No. My caliber of boxing, if you want to see my caliber of boxing in this, in this, in this country or Africa, you know, it's not because I'm good or other, but because I have the Holy Spirit with me. You know, boxing, there's a lot of things inside, but people don't, don't, don't know. They say, there's juju, there's a lot of things, a lot of things, miracle things. You know, you can fight somebody without, you stand there with the person, but you can't see him. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 this one's, you know, you need somebody who have seen it before. So when he, you are talking, he understand what you are saying. So this one's, you don't talk, you know, you don't talk. It's, it's a lot of things, you know. So you cannot hold a title for that long, you know, especially African, you know. So you need to have the Holy Spirit behind you. Mm -hmm. That's the, and before the Holy Spirit, if you have to have the Holy Spirit before uh, behind you, you have to you have to be humble. You have to give yourself. You have to you have to know God, well, you know, and do good things. You know? And uh, you you don't see a, you, you didn't see that in a lot of the young ones who are coming. They seem to have a lot of talent. No, they, they, yeah, we have them too far. a lot of talent, but it's not about talent. It's not only talent. You know, it's not only the talent. It's yourself. You know how you're going to live. You know 
if you have a talent and uh, you ha you work you have to you know you have to wake up in the morning and go to jogging and, and you, 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 you 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 sleep you don't go to jogging you didn't go to jogging and then you you, you wake up you're going to fight the, the talent is not going to work you know if you don't prepare the talent is not going to work you know you have to prepare and then know that you have to prepare and love what you are doing you know you need to love what you are doing you cannot uh, say oh, I love oh I love working and you wake up you are not working and you say you love you love working so what working do you what work what work do you love you know <laughs> I love to work and you are not working so what love do you know? uh, so these people these children, this generation are something else, you know. I but you don't also think that perhaps it also has to do with the caliber of trainers available? Yeah, yeah, it's, that one too is a, is a, is a, is a, is a fact, but the, 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 that's what I'm saying. Even if, 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 if you give yourself to God, you yourself, you the boxer, the Holy Spirit will talk to you. He will show you what to do. It will train you. You know, this one is a, is a spiritual thing. So when people don't understand because they will say, ah, what, what is this guy saying? What is Azumanezi ah, saying? This man, is he crazy? <laughs> you know, because, because you haven't reached that level. So you understand. Mm -hmm. All right, then. We're still talking to Azuma Nelson. You know, we come back to talk about a fascinating young man who seems very determined to walk the same path as Azuma Nelson face to face. Wherever the weekend sporting action happened, we will bring it to you here on Scorecard. Every goal, every dunk, every punch, the winning strides, and the winning volleys. Come, international media. He said, Look, wait, sit and wait. Let me have a meal with my people. <laughs> and I think that that's the same cool. It's the same organization he brings to the field every time I've seen him play. He looks to me like somebody who has played over 50 cups already. Okay. But this guy has barely played over 25 cups for the national team. All of the weekend's action in one place. Scorecard. Every Sunday at 8 p.m. prompt on CTTV. Every Thursday night on City TV, you're welcome to join women from different backgrounds and opinions as they weigh in on your relationship issues. Watch Sister Sister as the ladies get real with issues about love, marriage, betrayal, sex, dating, trust, finances, and more. Sometimes some of the guys are like, oh no, they want to wait before they get married. So, so that little question was I'm saying I'm holding on, lady. What if, what if, she does, or they kiss and all of that, and so nothing? That's it. If he really wants you like that, you see that. So join Jessica and her sisters for City TV's All Women Talk Show, Sister Sister, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Also, live on 97.3 City FM. We're in the final hurdle of Face to Face, and um, I want to talk to the champ about the generation that exists now. And Isaac Dobby, he's won himself a world title. Yes. How, what do you see, Isaac Dobby? He's a, he's a good boxer, you know, as his Dubu is a good boxer. He, he, he does everything he's supposed to. What is he supposed to do that he does? You talk about the discipline, you talk about God fearing, you talking about heart training, you know, and uh, that's, that, that's what you want. You watched this fight against Magdaleno? Oh, yes. And yes. I'm sure you were in the ring with him that night. He did very well. He did very well. I know that. He uh, executed the strategy perfectly. If, yes, if we continue, you know, if we continue, we go far. What, you know? what, what, what do you think has set him apart from the rest of his, I would say, hard people? training? Hard training. He trained very hard. Uh, his management also seems quite professional. Mm, yes. Yeah, but it, you can be professionals, but. You are not a boxing uh, coach or boxing. You know? So uh, if the boy said, "Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not feeling like training," 
So, okay, then rest, you know. But the coach will tell you, no, 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 we have to train, you know. So, uh, their, 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 their managers, you know, they, they are there, they're doing their work, you know, and they did their work well, you know. And uh, Isaac Dogway too did his work well with his coaches, you know. So, that is why they, they can achieve what they have achieved, you know. But now, to become champion, uh, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that difficult, you know. But to hold it and stay there, that is the that is the challenge point now. What's the advice that you give him? So you have to train more than what the what is the you know, what he did to become champion. You know that I've read articles where people have compared his rise to yours and perhaps even his mental toughness to yours, in that he wants to fight everybody. He's issuing challenges everywhere and say, I'm not afraid if you want to fight, just come and let's fight. Yes, because that is his work. That is what that is what he wants to do. You know, and he believes that I mean uh, he's the best. So if you think you are the best, come on, let's 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 go on. You know, let's set the ball rolling. Let's let's see who is who. You know, and uh, that is that is the name of the game. I mean I'm a champion. You know, that's why the, that's why we have challenges. You know, if you are a champion, he's a champion now. The challenges is under him. So any challenger who think he can beat him, when this one come, you know, he realize he cannot. Then he go back. Yes, who think he can? He can. He can take the title. You no. Know? Then you are coming. And then he's beating you. You are coming. You know. So then he became. He can. He become the great champion. How's your son doing? I saw him in the ring not too long ago. Oh, but you know, my son is not. Um, he want to, he, he, maybe he love, he is happy to see people fighting or he's, you know, he loves the game, but uh, I, I, I can't push him to, to do it. If you want to do it, you know, I'm there to help him, but if you don't want to do it, you know. It, it, it's rare we, we, to have our kind of boxers retire and decide to reinvest their money in staging promotions and management. For the past two or three years, you've made that decision yeah. with the Azuma Nelson fight nights. Yeah. Why did you decide to go there? No, because it's, boxing is something God gave it to me, you know. And if God gave me something, you know, and I've done it, I'm doing it, I've done it, I have to give it to somebody too, you know, I have to give it to somebody. So uh, my, my aim to promote the fight is, is to... Uh, find the talent, you know, and push them to the to, to the limit, you know. So that's why I'm trying to uh, 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 gather them and then and train them. If I because if I see a champion, I can see, you know, that okay, this guy will be a champion, you know. So we have to push him, you know. So if if I can see a champion, then I I say this guy can be a champion, and he. Will, Humble himself, you know, for us to help him. I mean, I mean, the the and is the, it going well? It, by God's grace, you know, the, the the sky will be their limit, you know. And overall, are you satisfied with the general state of professional boxing in not, the country? Well, gradually we are coming. You no, know, it's, it's not a satisfied, and I'm not satisfied, but we are coming gradually to see, you know, you know, uh, coming to see what will happen. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a couple of difficult questions. I'm going to, to end the interview. Okay. Your favorite fight? Asabacho Martinez. Why? Because he's a, because he's a good fighter, and he can hit hard. You know, and he uh, he plans, he think. You know, and it's difficult to fight somebody. It's like you are in school and you are sitting with your uh, uh, colleague. You know, and you are doing like spelling uh, exams. You know, and the guy is so good that before before the the, the, the teacher call, he wrote, and then you do write. The teacher call, he write. You do so it becomes difficult, tight. You know, so so you have to think high. More, you know, and that is um, like as Abacha Martinez. The guy can hit when he throw the punch, and I block it. You know, and I block with my hand. I, I, know if, I feel like they hit me with iron, you know. So all these things, you have to, you think about it 
So be extra careful, extremely careful, because you think that hey, even your hand is, you know, is weakening your hand with the punch. So how about if the punch go to your jaw? You know, you know that you go down and out. You know, so you have to be extremely careful. And when you are thinking, in ring, when you are thinking, you get tired early. You know, if you are in the outside, if you are in the gym, you are training, you are hitting the bag. You can hit the bag like 20 rounds. But if you enter into the ring, you fight like six rounds, you get tired. You know, because of the thinking. You know, and alertness and thinking. And, you know, so, so it makes the fight very tough. Okay. You know. Worst opponent. Oh, uh, there's nothing in boxing called easy, or, you know, easy opponent, you know, because uh, it's a lucky, lucky opponent. That's so who was the luckiest one you that's got? Uh, <laughs> who was the luckiest you got? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 what's the name? I, I knocked him out in the first round in London or something. What's the name? Was that Pat Cardell? Pat Cardell. You know, it's a lucky point. You know, because Parcada fought uh, Salvador Sanchez and went to the distance, 15 rounds with him. You know, and he lost on points. And I, and I fought Salvador Sanchez and, and I lost. You know, so it's not an easy p opponent. But uh, I'm a lucky person to knock him out in the first He made a mistake. Because when when we we, we enter into the ring, you uh, know, it's it's a little tall. So I I I I find out how I you know how to fight him. You know that I have to chase him. You know, put pressure on him. When he get tired, then I knock him out. You know, and I know he was going to run out, run out, run around. But when the bear go on to fight, he just comes straight to me. So I was, I was, I was saying in my mind, oh, 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 why are you doing this? You know, no, you are making a big mistake fighting me, coming to me. You know, so he just come in and I threw the punch and I, and I threw the uppercut, boom, and then he fell, you know. And then that's all, that's, you know, he couldn't wake up again. I said, no, you can't fight me like that. No, but <laughs> like <laughs> you, you let the people enjoy the fight. <laughs> right. And if I ask you to name three boxers, three that you would consider amongst the greatest along yourself mm -hmm. from any generation, which other three boxers would you call? <laughs> uh, Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jesse James Walcott. Yes, Jesse James. Uh, Jesse, Jesse Walcott. Jesse Walcott. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, That's uh, a very old boxer. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, the way he fights, you know, it, and it's, it's been, when we are young, we've been watching him, oh, okay. you know, with the t we watching his tape. But our coach shows us his tapes. So we watch him. He wants us to fight like he wants us to fight like like him. Like Walcott. You know, oh, no, no. So we've been watching, and I I love him. So much, and uh, I like Marvin Hagra. Oh, okay. I can see you like punches <laughs> because I'm a puncher. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Chow, you. For thank your you. Time. Thank you. Uh, we've been speaking to Azuma Nelson uh, three times, mm. featherweight champion of the world, perhaps the longest reigning mm. boxing champion in the history of boxing, boxing hall of famer. Mm. Coconut farmer. Yeah. He's farmer. He has promised mm. me a visit yeah. to this farm. He yeah. says he has coconut. Yeah. He says it's been a pleasure. Mm. And uh, once again, happy birthday. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh -huh. engaging, detailed, and loaded with factual and incisive analysis.